नमस्ते एवरीवन आई एम ज्ञान एंड यू आर वाचिंग द सेशन सिक्स ऑफ जावा एंड वेब कंस्ट्रक्टर्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल काउंट द नंबर ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्टर कॉल्स इन अ गिवन जावा प्रोग्राम बट सिंस वेन एवर वी क्रिएट अ न्यू ऑब्जेक्ट वी कॉल अ न्यू कंस्ट्रक्टर सो अल्टीमेटली इन दिस वीडियो वी विल काउंट द नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट है नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट है क्लास पॉइंट ऑल्सो हैव टू प्राइवेट इंस्टेंस वेरिएबल्स द वेरिएबल एक्स एंड द वेरिएबल वाई एंड द क्लास पॉइंट ऑल्सो हैज स्टेटिक वेरिएबल काउंट The static variable count has been initialized to zero. The class point has other three methods: the method set data, the method show data, and the method add. We already have seen this program in the session five of Java and Web user defined data types. The link of that video is given in the video description below. Here in the first line, we are creating three objects. The reference of this object will be stored into the reference variable p1. When we create this object, the constructor, the default constructor, will be called. The default constructor first increases the value of count, and since the count is common for all the objects, so the value of count increases by one for all the objects. Then after this default constructor prints the string constructor. After that we are creating another object. The reference of this object will be stored into the reference variable p2. Because of this object creation, the default constructor has been called. The constructor increases the static variable count by one. The new value of the static variable count is now two. After that, the constructor is printing the string constructor. Then, after we are creating the third object, the reference of third object will be stored into the reference variable p3. When we are creating this object, the default constructor will be called again. The default constructor increases the value of the common static variable count by one. Now, the new value of a static variable count is three. After that the default constructor is again printing the string constructor. After creation of these three objects the next statement to execute is this one p1.set data 2.3.4f. Because of this statement the instance variables x and y of an object whose address is stored into the reference variable p1 has been changed to 2 and 3.4. If you are not getting my words then first follow the video link given in the video description below. After this statement the next statement to execute is p2.set data 3.4.5f So the instance variables x and y of an object whose address is stored into the reference variable p2 is now changed to 3 and 4.5 After this statement we are calling the method add by using the reference variable p3 So whatever the address is stored into the reference variable p1 local to the main will be copied into the reference variable p1 local to the method add Here this p1 is an actual argument and this p1 is a formal argument whatever is stored into the reference variable p2 local to the main will be stored into the reference variable p2 local to the add the copying of addresses from the actual arguments to the formal arguments are not creating objects but in the method add the first statement is to create a new object of type point and store the reference of the newly created object in the reference variable p3 That's how while executing this statement the default constructor will be called again. The default constructor increases the value of the static variable count by 1 and the new value of the static variable count is now 4. After that the default constructor prints the string constructor. After this statement the rest of codes has been executed here and the method add returns the reference variable p3. Calling the method show data by using the reference variable p3 in the class main does not cause any object creation. So that's how we have created only four objects in this code. The three objects has been created in this line, and one object has been created in this line. Let me save and compile this code. Java C constructor dot Java. Compile fine. Then run it. Java main. Since class name containing method main is main, it runs fine, printing the constructor string four times. and then it's printing values of the instance variables x and y of an object whose address is stored into the reference variable p3 and finally it's printing the value of count the last value of count was 4 that's how it's printing 4 so the number of point objects have been created in this code is 4 and that's how the default constructor has been called four times that's all for this video guys don't forget to like and share this video subscribe this channel if you are new 
and leave your valuable comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.